What's up everyone, this is Cybernat8610 and today we have a special unboxing for you guys. Going to be opening up another one of the uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Dark Side Dimension figure tree guys. As, as you can see, this one is for Lemon Magician Girl. So yeah, it's kind of tough to actually <laughs> put this whole figure on camera like this. So I'm kind of having sort of a, a weird angle on everything here because it's actually a pretty big figure in a big box too. And of course too, before we begin, uh, Hobby Link Japan sent me this to do an opening on. So be sure to check them out. Link in the description. They have all kinds of different anime statues. Of course, they have all the different Yu-Gi-Oh! statues that are coming out, and there's actually quite a few that are getting announced, so I'm looking forward to that, and I've been looking at a lot of, like, the Dragon Ball Z figures and stuff, too, so right now I'm showing you guys the, the box, the way it looks. This one kind of goes along, of course, with the uh, Dark Magician Girl figure we've seen in the past, as well as the uh, Apple Magician Girl, I believe was the last figure we've opened up like this, so yeah, they went on ahead and sent me Lemon Magician Girl 2 to go along with those, so yeah, let's go ahead and open it up and show you guys what the figure looks like. There we go. Always trying to be very careful with how I open these. Because all these figures, I like to keep the box. I've gotten where now I'm collecting figures lately, so... <laughs> I said a lot of Dragon Ball Z figures, mainly. But uh, Yukio's been coming out with so many, too. I'm going to have to have like a special shelf just showing those off. I might have them in, like, in a background of some of our videos. So I that is everything out of the box. We'll go ahead and set that to the side. Because like I said, it takes up a lot of space on this. So of course, here's what the figure looks like all packed still in the plastic. You can see you have a stand, you have her magic wand and everything too, and she has like stars around her. I believe the Apple Magician Girl actually had like apples that were <laughs> next to her, which is kind of funny. Yeah, I believe there's tape on this if I remember correctly. Yeah. With how they package these. Let's see. There we go. And there we are. So, yeah, there's tape over the magic wand and everything. There. So first off we have the magic wand, the way it looks, pretty neat. Looks a lot different from the others. We have a stand, you guys can see. Always have sort of a spellbinding circle, sort of look to a magic circle, magician circle. That's neat, you set that up. And of course the figure itself. So yeah, let me assemble everything and uh, then I'll show you guys the way the figure looks, all assembled. And yep, there you go, that is Lemon Magician Girl uh, completely assembled. Really all you have to do is just like set her on the stand and then also uh, to get her to hold the magic wand is the only thing. And that was kind of difficult really because usually with uh, the different magician, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Magician figures that I've bought before, the wand will actually like break apart and, or break in half so you can then put it in their hand and then snap it back together. And unfortunately it's not this way for this figure. It's one solid piece. So it was a little difficult to actually get her to hold the magic wand, so be careful on that if you happen to get this figure, just because you want to be extremely careful. With figures like this, I mean, they're good quality, and they seem to be, you know, pretty tough, but also it is a statue, so yeah, you want to be extremely careful on that. I was just trying to be as careful as possible to get her to hold that, so I wish it was a little bit easier to do that. Other than that, though, I mean, it's really similar to the Apple Magician Girl figure. I mean, you can even take off her hat and everything, too. It has, like, a magnet in there, so there you go. I mean, if you want to change that, you could probably switch hats, you know, with her and Apple Magician Girl if you want to. I don't know, just kind of an interesting feature. It's kind of neat just to have that in. And there's like a small magnet in there too, because you can like feel it magnetized as you're putting the hat back on her. So it makes sure that it is secure in place. Also too, here is a 360 view of the figure if you guys want to see. And uh, yeah, I mean, just like with the other ones, a lot of great detail and everything. I'm not really <laughs> the best figure reviewer, but to me, uh, the figure looks like it's great quality. And uh and like I said, I would just be very careful, uh, just like with the other ones. I mean, this is not a toy for this one. This is a statue. It's something you, you know, you could easily break if you're not careful with. And it's for display. Plain and simple, it's not a toy, so you have to be careful that kind of stuff, and I feel like I should point that out too. So yeah, in the end, what do I think about this figure? Do I think it's worth getting or not? Well, yeah, I think it is definitely worth picking up if you want to get the different Magician Girl figures. For me, I mean, I see why we keep getting Magician Girl figures. I mean, obviously, we, we all know why we're getting a lot of those figures, and the quality and stuff is great on this figure. Don't get me wrong on that. But again, it's like the same problem I had with Apple Magician Girl. It's cool to see figures for these new characters these new cards but I would still really like to see some more of the, you know, uh, more iconic Yu-Gi-Oh! monsters out there where it would be cool to see maybe a figure for uh, Red Eyes because we got one for Dark Magician and Blue Eyes Alternative pretty recently, so I'd like to see one for like Red Eyes or maybe like one of the Toon Monsters, Toon Blue Eyes or Gate Guardian, Exodia, the God Cards, uh, or even move on to GX. I know we always say original series stuff, but for GX, I'd love to see any of the elemental heroes, really. Um, Crystal Beast, Rainbow Dragon, I mean, 
uh, Cyber and Dragon. That'd be another great one. You know, there's just, I feel like uh, they're kind of limiting themselves to just the Magician Girls lately, which, again, I'm not stupid. I see <laughs> they're going with what sells, obviously, on that, and we all know why that is. I don't have to point that out. But that's just kind of a complaint I have with the different Yu-Gi-Oh! figures we're seeing lately. Now, we are seeing a little bit more variety in the future. We are getting a, uh, a I believe, an Atem figure at some point next year, and there's been a few others announced, too, which I'm looking forward to. So, uh, hopefully that means that in the future we could see some other things, maybe even some different uh, characters from other series. Like I said, Jaden would be really cool, or Judai, or even, like, Jesse and Anderson, or, you know, moving on to 5Ds, have one of you say, that'd be really amazing too. I just want to see more Yu-Gi-Oh characters and uh, more iconic Yu-Gi-Oh monsters is basically what I'm saying on this. But of course, uh, like I said in the past, if you're looking for something that's a cool looking figure, a lot of detail and everything for Yu-Gi-Oh, these are definitely worth picking up. And if these do well, I'm sure they're going to continue on with them. And like I said, just bring me more of those iconic monsters. I would love to have God cards, Exodia, just all kinds of stuff as figures. I would definitely make room on my shelf for figures like that. Again, as always, thank you guys for watching. Leave a comment, tell me what you guys think, as well as like the video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh! openings. Of course, anything new that comes out for Yu-Gi-Oh! I do openings on, including these figures. And uh, I did end up getting Blue Eyes Alternative Dragon as well, which I'm going to do an opening on sometime very soon. So I hope you guys are looking forward to that. It took me a while to find it, but I was able to find one. So I hope you guys are looking forward to it, because it looks pretty awesome. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. You guys are awesome, and of course I will. Catch you guys later. See you.